Hello, my name is Foxy Notel, and today we're going to learn how to make a um, comparator, item frame comparator combination lock. Okay, so here's an example of what we're going to be creating, which is a uh, redstone comparator uh, item frame combination lock. And what you need to do is make sure you get both of the items exactly the same way round, and the door will open. So uh, if we offset one of them, it will close again, and then if we put it back again, it will open again. And the same on this side, it has to be in exactly the right place to work. So we're going to build on this bit here, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, what I mean is when you've got uh, an item frame like this with an item in there when you spin it round it gives off different signals and what we want to do is use those signals to uh, open or close a door so if we've got two we can make a combination you can use as many of these as you like for the combination we're going to use two and we're just going to reset these arrows to their normal position so what what you have to do is if you put a comparator on the block directly behind the item frames uh, then what will happen is you'll get a signal from the com from the item frame that will uh that will allow you to uh, create your circuit so the more you spin the item round in the item frame the longer the signal lasts for so what happens is when you spin the item on the item frame you can see the redstone like the uh, redstone dust will actually light up and the more redstone dust you have the further the the signal will go until it gets to the maximum so what you need to decide is where you want the your arrow to be facing or whatever item you've got um, to be facing in order for the doors to unlock so we're going to have these facing down which means that the signal stops here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a repeater from that signal there and we're going to also put another repeater from this dead signal here and the reason for that is we want to make sure that this will only work with the Ma with this particular signal here we don't want it to work if it then goes past and lights this redstone so it's very important that we actually use two here so we'll go back to our original signal and what we need to do now is add something called a um an XOR circuit which is basically a circuit that says this will only work if one of these is actually active so the way we make this is we put another repeater there just to extend that signal a couple of blocks there and a couple more comparators in the middle if we invert those comparators and link them up with some redstone like this and then we put a piece of redstone there a piece of redstone there a block here and hopefully now this block there will be lit up so this is going to be our signal so now you'll be able to see that if I turn that round to the next one our signals gone off and if I keep turning that round as much as I like that's not going to go on until it gets back to the down position so now will this circuit will only light when that arrow is facing exactly down so we just need to do exactly the same as that for the other side but this time I'm going to have this arrow facing upwards so we need to work out the length of the signal before it turns off which is here so we'll have our um, repeater coming off that way and we'll put another repeater like we did before coming off that way and we'll just turn that round and we'll have another XOR circuit here so two blocks either side two comparators just in front inverted some redstone dust behind them a piece of redstone dust a piece of redstone dust there a block there and another piece of redstone dust there so this is our signal coming up from this one so now you'll be able to see if this is in any other position our signal goes off so you can see the signal there is off we'll put it round to there like the other one it's off so that will only work if this one is facing upwards so now what we need to do is link these signals together so that the door will only activate when they're both open now I realize I'm making quite a lot of mess here and I'm using quite a big space you can do this more compact but I just want to um, do it as big as possible to demonstrate to you guys uh, how how it all works without it being too compressed and compact so I'm adding a couple more repeaters in here just to extend the signals and so we've got two signals coming down so we only want this to work if they both work together so what we need now is something called an AND gate and an AND gate works like this you have three blocks across here one redstone torch in the middle on the front a piece of redstone dutch dust on the top and two lights either side so this redstone torch is on which means our circuit is activated so if I just put a piston down here like that that piston is gonna fire up and uh, that's where how we can tell if this is working so now if I spin that round the piston will go down if I spin that one round it's still gonna go down so it doesn't matter what happens now 
and if doesn't matter what position these are in until I get the exact right combination which is that one down and that one up it's not going to extend so we can now use this to create to create our door just by uh, building another circuit if you want to know how to make redstone doors then you can uh, copy one of these designs that I did in a previous tutorial this one's a hidden door which works like that and this one is just a simple pressure plate door but they could both be adapted to use this type of circuit so that the door will only open when you've got the correct combination so uh, as you can see I've made the redstone slightly more compact than we did in the tutorial uh, and all that's happening is that the comparator is leading down to these signals which we comes to an XOR gate which says it will only work in one position same thing on this side and then both of those XOR gates are coming through to this AND gate gate which says if both of them are given the correct signal then come up and send the signal to these pistons to open the door so that's all it is I know it looks really complicated uh, and to be honest figuring it out and trying to get it in a small space like that was pretty awkward but it's it's a good walk now you know it's going to be very difficult for somebody to to guess the combination especially if you add those item frames quite a long way away from here i mean at the moment it's fairly obvious that you need to do something with that but let's say this item frame was over there and that one was somewhere else you could create quite a fancy uh, security door with just those uh, items there so there you go that's it that's the end of this tutorial so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do leave a like and if you didn't don't worry about it and i'll see you in the next one bye